accuracy in a generic term is correctness accuracy shows if something is error free also when we talk about the accuracy of current transformer we talk about if the output of current transformer is error free or not now since the current transformer is used to measure the current flowing in the system as well as to give inputs to the relay in case of an abnormal condition the accuracy is also divided into two parts the measuring accuracy and the protection accuracy now what do we actually mean by the accuracy of the current transformer if i have to put it in a simple way it is nothing but the correctness of the output now the question is how do we differentiate between measuring accuracy and protection accuracy we'll talk about that but if you're new here my name is gaurav j and i simplify electrical engineering topics to help you with your academics and technical interviews don't forget to subscribe for more informative content so coming back to the accuracy first thing you have to keep in mind is that we use different cores for measuring and protection purpose for example let's say we have a current transformer output of which we want to give to a meter to measure the current and one output we also want to give to uh, a relay for distance protection and one we want to give to a differential protection so this ct will have three different cores one core will be dedicated for measurement purpose and balance two will be for protection purpose and what creates a difference between these cores is nothing but their accuracy you have to also keep in mind that the characteristics of these cores must also be different from each other for example the protection core should also be able to generate the output in an abnormal condition when the primary current goes to a very high value in case of a fault in such situation also the protection core should be able to generate an output and only if the this core generates an output then the respective relay will come to know about the fault otherwise it will not so no doubt this core should not be saturated during the fault condition exactly opposite to this is the behavior of the measuring core the output of measuring core is given to the meters and the meters are not designed to carry the high current so this measuring core should not generate an output when the current goes to a very high value if this core generates the output even in abnormal conditions then definitely it will damage the meter that is connected to it which of course we do not want so both measuring and protection core are different in their behavior and what sets them different is their accuracy by the way if you find my youtube videos helpful then you will love the courses that i have created to know more about these easiest courses simply visit courses.dielectricalguide.in if you are someone who is going for a technical interview and needs a quick guide on substation then this substation simplified course is for you it is designed for beginners with all the information which you need during the interview and if you want to elevate your expertise to a new height then the circuit breaker control schematic course is for you this is the only comprehensive course available which will help you become expert in the circuit breaker control schematic i'll put link for all these courses down in the description definitely go and check it out now in a current transformer there is a ratio error there is a composite error and there is a phase displacement phase displacement is nothing but the difference in the phases between the primary and secondary current vectors and different standards like iec have defined certain limits for each of this error for each of the accuracy classes so first let's look at the different classes defined by iec for metering accuracy there is 0.1 uh, 0.2 0.2s 0.5 0.5s 1 3 and 5 for all these classes iec has defined the limits of ratio error and phase angle displacement so let's see the example of 0.2 class here you can see the ratio error allowed at 5% of the rated current is 0.75 similarly the values mentioned for 20% 100% and 120% of the rated current need and this needs to be maintained in order to achieve the accuracy of 0.2 class in the same fashion the phase displacement is also mentioned 
So only when a core complies with this requirement, then it can be said as a 0.2 class core. And out of all the metering classes we just saw, 0.2s is the most accurate one and mostly used for revenue metering. And the names of the accuracy classes are given based on the ratio error allowed at 100% rated current. You can notice the name of the class matches with the error allowed at 100% rated current. So that is the metering accuracy. Now let us talk about the protection accuracy. Characteristics of protection accuracy are different from that of metering accuracy. Protection cores need not be as accurate as the metering cores, but they must be able to transform the high fault currents to a protection relay to measure and disconnect the fault. IEC defined protection accuracy includes 5P, 10P, PX or PS. And for sure, for these classes also, error limits are defined. For example, for 5P class, the ratio error allowed at rated current is 1. Now, if you compare it with the 0.2 class, which we just saw, the ratio error allowed at 100% rated current was just 0.2, whereas for 5P, it is 1. Huge gap. Also, phase displacement is defined for 5P and 10P cores. For 5P and 10P cores, composite error also comes into picture. For 5P, it should be less than 5%. By the way, if you are interested to know in detail about 5P and 10P class, I have a dedicated video on that. I'll put a link for that down in the description. You can go and check it out. So when a core complies with all these requirements, then it can be said as a 5P core. And how do we define that? Definitely by testing. So you have to do testing in order to prove the accuracy classes, right? So to summarize, Metering cores are more accurate and the different classes defined by the IEC standards are this. On the other hand, protection core need not to be accurate, but they must transform a default current so that the relay will sense it and clear the fault. The protection accuracy defined by the IEC you can see on your screen. Now here you need to keep one thing in mind, a very important thing in mind that the accuracy class will not be guaranteed for burdens above rated burden or below 25% of the rated burden. Now, the question is, what do we mean by burden? That we will understand in the coming video. And if you haven't subscribed, then you might miss the update on that. And to avoid it, you just have to simply click on the subscribe button with the bell notification turned on. And that's it. You will receive the update on that video as well. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you found it useful. If it was useful and do click on the like button and do share it with the people you might think would be interested in knowing all the details we just discussed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.